Hello everyone and welcome back. This is going to be another personal blog and for this blog we are going to go way way back in time. Back to my childhood. My name's Inwells and welcome to the In Crowd. <laughs> So before we start, I would just like to say that I am styling the merchandise from the Sassy Sasquatch on Twitch. Well worth going and checking out. Sassy! Okay, so I was making tea, as in the food that we eat about five or six o'clock in the UK, because I know everybody has different names for it. Anyway, I was making my evening meal and I decided to have some salad and it suddenly brought back a childhood memory of when I was younger so I thought in this video I'm going to share with you some of my childhood memories yeah it was a long time ago but just just go with it so first up, the childhood memory that sparked all this off. I was washing my lettuce for my tea and I suddenly remembered that when we were younger, um, my mum used to wash the lettuce and then give it to us in a tea towel. And it was our job to go outside into the backyard with the tea towel and whoosh this the lettuce the wet lettuce that was inside the tea towel whoosh it around and fling it so and obviously via centrifugal force or i think that's the right one all the water was pushed out through the tea towel and tea towel and it went everywhere but we ended up with dry lettuce and i i really like that memory that was a fond memory one of my colleagues has sent me something that you can get from ikea now that you put in a bowl and just press or turn or something and it does it for you but no, I think the tea towel was better. So, memory number two, licking the bowl. Now, looking back on it, honestly, um, so mom used to do a lot of cooking, okay? And we were always very keen on cooking. I'm sure it was one day, used to be cooking day. And when you came back from being out at school, etc., the dining room table was full of wire trays and tins where all the cakes and the the treats had been um, baked and there was wonderful things like melting moments and um, traffic light biscuits that were like shortbread biscuits but had a red cherry a yellow cherry and a green cherry on it <sighs> my childhood was so fantastic but if you were in when mum was cooking then um, she would beat up all the things, uh, ingredients to make a, a, a sponge. And if you were lucky, then you got the bowl. You got the bowl to eat and wipe clean with a spoon. And you used to go round and get all the cake. And looking back on it, it, it we were actually eating um, sugar, margarine, flour and raw egg. But hey didn't do me any harm well maybe <laughs> memory number three okay <laughs> this this really baffles me now but I, I remember we always had home remedies and for example if you got a splinter in your finger you put sugar and soap on it and then you put a plaster over the top of it and then honestly it worked because within days you would reveal it and it, it had gone. It had popped out somewhere. I have no idea what the sugar and salt, the sugar and soap did, but it seemed to work. And it was always a great fear of mine that you would have to get the splinter extracted with a needle, you know, and that wasn't a nice thought at all. But yeah, home remedies like that. And I always remember if you ever bumped your head, um, you would get butter um, sprawled all over it and rubbed into it 
Uh, it, this amazes me. I have no idea what it did or what it didn't do, but it somehow made everything better. It also meant that your bump on your head was extremely shiny because of all the grease and butter. Um, oh, uh, memory number four, I think. Holding the aerial. Now, <laughs> you will not believe this. You really will not believe it. But uh, in the, when I was younger, we, we were very, my brother and I were very lucky because we had a, uh, a portable black and white television in our bedroom. And it was one of those, you probably have never seen it at all. In order to tune in, you have to turn an, uh, uh, like a knob and it would go and then you just had to slow it down really slowly to try to get the picture but the other thing you got it had an aerial on the back and no matter what you would position this aerial and you were positioning it to the right place and you would say to somebody else what's the picture like fine but as soon as you let go of it or moved the picture would once again look like there's snow all over it and it was this I have no idea what was going on but you know it seemed that the only way you can get a really good picture on these black and white televisions was to hold the air aerial and in which case you couldn't actually see but no I remember them really well these holding the aerial to get a good picture and finally memory number five now there has been a lot of memories because although they are fading as I get older but these are probably the first five that came to my brain and I am sure that later on I will find another five to share with you but memory number five what I remember television plates now we were a family that always ate at the dining room table but I always remember on Saturdays you got a television plate and what a television plate was, was just like a normal china plate, but you got all your food on it and then you just went and we were allowed to sit in front of the television and eat. And I remember that, I mean, I don't think there was a full packet of crisps on it. I think you had to share the crisps out. And there was five children in my family and then my fantastic mom. And and I think you saw like got some sandwiches um, um, with the crust on, but cut into triangles, like a tomato, a bit of cucumber. And so it, honestly, it was like, it was our highlight of the week. I'm sure of it. I remember thinking, oh, it's television plates tonight, you know, and getting really excited about it. Now I think I eat my meal constantly in front of the television, but then it was absolutely fantastic. And that's it. Uh, my five favourite memories or the ones that I can think of from my childhood more probably to come in future episodes on this channel and talking about this channel please consider liking commenting and subscribing to the channel remember every like comment actually um, helps me one step closer to my create my dream of being a content creator and if you would like to provide some extra help if you know what i mean then the link to my patreon is in the description below so thank you for listening i really do appreciate it and watching i really do appreciate it and yeah stay healthy stay safe maintain social distancing and we will see everyone again soon have fun see you later bye